itself. He will tell you that you are great and you are mighty. Look at yourself, you are drowning in death. But he's speaking to himself. He will tell you that you cannot be defeated, but you are coming from a battle where you are wounded. You are coming from a battle where you've got the blood. But God will tell you that you are a victor and you are more than a conqueror. He's speaking through the lenses of himself. That's why the Bible says you are more than a conqueror. Just imagine after Paul has been beaten, and God is coming to Paul through revelations, and he's saying that you are more than a conqueror. He's speaking as if he's speaking to himself. Am I talking to something in this place? Amen. So when you are looking at vision, in vision it works together with imagination. What you see and what you imagine must correlate for there to be a prophetic and apostolic reaction. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians 3, 20, that uh, it's God through Apostle Paul who says that God is able to do abundantly, exceedingly, above all that we ask or think or we imagine other translations according to the power that worketh within us. That power is called God. So when God is coming to your life, He does not speak to you according to your current state. He speaks to you through the power that is us in you. So when He says that you cannot be defeated, He's speaking to that power. Believe you. That's why somebody once said, whatever God says about you is true. Even if God comes right now and says you are a witch, you must say, I believe God. Don't you ever say no, because whatever God says is true, and he remains true. If God says to you, you are an animal, just say, I receive. What? Because God, I'm talking about God, not your pastor. If God comes to you and says that you are a rock, just say, yes, I am a rock. Where can I go and fit myself between the rocks? Until he gives you more instructions, well, because this God, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody in this place. Amen. That's why God said unto Abraham, lift up. We know the battle between Abraham and Lot. The Bible says they had enough, they had properties and prosperity to the extent that there was a feud and squabbles between the workers. To the extent that uh, Abraham said unto Lot, you are. My brother's child, we cannot be fighting because of what you possess. And the Bible says, Lord was given the opportunity to space. And God came unto Abraham. And he said unto Abraham, lift up your countenance. What do you see? As far as you go through your vision, I give you. So God wants you to look as far as you look. That's what God is going to give you. If you don't see beyond Pretoria, your life is going to circulate around Pretoria. If you don't see beyond your work, you are going to circulate around that. That's why you find out that in our parliaments right now, we've got people that were born in 1992. Well, these are people that when they are at their college, they see beyond communities. They want to enter into the House of Assembly, and they are there. See beyond what you are doing today. See beyond where you are coming from. It's far as you can see. That's why when God created you, He created you meticulously. He did not put eyes at your back. He only put eyes in front of you. Why? Because He wants you to have the integrity, the profit and the modicum to respect the, the perception and the direction that your eyes gives you. If God had given you eyes at the back of your heart, there was going to be a fight. And you were not going to have integrity to respect the eyes. Why? Because we tell them that, no, I still have got some. So he says, if your eyes are going there, which is your vision, follow your perception. Follow your vision. The reason why birds or chickens, you look at them, their eyes are here, which means they can see only 360 degrees. Us as human beings, we can only see at 180 degrees. But what makes you to see more than a hen? Or a bird that sees through a 360 degrees is because a hen or a bird has not a focus. That's why when they are walking, they are always shaking their head. They cannot focus. But your eyes now see more because God has given you eyes, perception, and focus. So when you are focusing, you are not focusing only, you are defocusing. You have not been focusing, but you need to readjust yourself, reset yourself, and refocus. Then you start to go. You might have in this place. That's your vision, which means the life of every individual 
goes towards the direction of your perception. And the life of every organization goes towards the direction of the vision. If a company has got a vision, it goes towards the direction of that vision. If the vision